Hello. So today I'm gonna start sort of like a deco project. Um, as you know, I have one of these A5 binders, um, and I have the other one actually coming on the way right now. Um, but I wanted to create cover pages for them. So yesterday I got on Pixlr and I spent far too long picking a font and created just like a simple text um, that sort of will I hopefully go right there uh, and for I, I think I'm just gonna do this binder today because I'm still not sure what shade of blue the one I have coming is gonna be yesterday I like tentatively picked out this like orangey kind of color I thought it was more yellow but I don't want to like pour my heart and soul into decorating it and then I don't like the color so I'm going to wait on that one and I'm just gonna sort of start my project for this white one so I have this paper that I got from Daiso it comes in two color packs so there's one pack that's like shades of blue and then one pack that's shades of oranges and pinks and stuff and they have white pages so I'm just gonna sort of I think trim this to size and then do a couple of test prints and then print on this um, so I'll have one on the front and then this one sort of on the back that makes sense. We're going on the inside. I also don't own a hole punch, so this would be interesting. But yes, I think the majority of this is gonna be just like sped up. But I just wanted to do a quick, quick little intro. So today is Deco Day. Okay, so here I take one of my pocket pages to use as a guide, so I know how big to cut my piece of paper and also where to you know draw the holes so I know where to cut them out um, and here I use one of the like box cutters to try and cut a straight line it didn't really work so I just used scissors to sort of fix up the mistakes towards the end Okay, so here I'm using just a piece of like printer paper to do a test print. Uh, as I said, I picked up the font and stuff yesterday, so I just wanted to do a couple test prints to make sure I had like the sizing right and the printer settings right because I only had two of these white pieces of paper. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing now. The first one is 75%, like scaled 75%, and then this next one is 65%. And I believe I went with the 65% on the like actual one, which is coming up now. So now is the fun part where I spent far too long deciding which stick arches I was going to use <laughs> and trying to figure out a pattern. My camera actually like stopped because it was out of space so that actually cut out a lot of time of me trying to decide stickers but here's how I did it I guess <laughs> So I just try my best to use my like exacto knife to make the holes. They're not perfect, but they work. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> it didn't take me too long. I was kind of surprised, but um, I'm just gonna put everything in, and then 
I'll be done for today. Cause I also have to eat food. Um, this is what I came up with. Like I said, I don't have a whole bunch, so that's why they're like not completely round. Oh, but this is the cover that I came up with. Um, I decided that the white binder is going to be for the like merch and photo set stuff and any Japan benefits that I end up getting. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like close up. Most of the stickers are like silver, um, except for these two up here, they have like gold edges, um, some blue and pink in here. But the theme was butterflies because I liked those stickers the most. Uh, so, I'm just gonna put this in here. <gasps> and then back cover. Here. And hopefully they're long enough. If not, that's very important. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. Yeah, so the cover is sparkly. The covers are white. Not bad. Not bad. Anyway. <laughs> um, when I get my blue one, I'll probably just... I don't know if I'll film it, but at least there's like one process for you here. Um, and I'm not even sure if I have like the right color paper that I want for that one. So we'll just see. But for now, this is what I have. This is the final product. And the... Anything that is not, so basically all of this is going to go in my new binder. And then the only thing that'll be left are these two and then these photo sets. So, yeah, I just did a quick, like, speed run of my process for decorating this. I don't know if I like it. Um, it feels like there's, like, too much going on and also, like, not enough, if that makes sense. Like, there's some things that I wish I didn't put on here, but whatever. Maybe I will learn to love it <laughs> as I continue looking at it um, but this is the other A5 binder that I have so I'm gonna put these pages in and then I'll move the nine pocket things from here um, that are not the uh, the Japan benefits of photo sets into this binder. So 
So I'll start with my cover pages. And I just got, oh, I got these papers from uh, Hobby Lobby because that's what was close. Uh, but honestly, like Michael's Joanne's, anything like that would do the job. Maybe even Walmart, if your Walmart has like a craft section. Uh, and then I need this one back. Just in case I have treasure era things. Oh, sorry. And let me take these out. My goal for the green cover sheet um, was to make it using like stars and the ribbon looking stickers. Um, and then like I, the star stickers that I have, they're kind of like really border pieces. Like they're really long pieces. There's not a lot of individual stars. Um, so I couldn't really fill the space as much as I wanted to. Come on. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so I went and like filled in some spaces with these like butterflies, some like of the smaller butterflies from last time. And then I used like these, they're like cow print, little twinkles. Um, Cause I didn't have any that were like this color scheme. If they're like white or silver uh, little twinkles only, I only had this shape in like white and I didn't have enough of them. So the theme is like, I don't know, <laughs> butterflies and like, I don't know what you would call this. Butterflies, stars, circles? Not sure, but yeah. So this is what is in here right now. Just uh, everything that I just had and then some extra pages because it's almost June, which means it's almost July, which means Korean comeback is coming soon. <laughs> Today's the 24th here um, in the US, but their Japan mini came out today. Um, cool. So I have to think about collecting or possibly collecting Japan pieces if I want to do that. Um, I'm just gonna add some these extras. This was already an open pack. So I'm just going to stick these in the back of here for extra like two pocket, like photo set items. Because even though I don't have any Japan like PCs, I have the photo sets. So I think I will get the, um, what is it, Beyond Zero ones, um, but yeah, we'll see. So, let me zip this up, and these are my binders, these are my new binders, this is my new Yosong setup, um, yeah, the cover pages tell you what's in them, so any album pieces will still go in my the black binder with Hong Jung and Songwa, but uh, I believe I've taken all of the benefits out of that binder and put them into here, except for maybe Beaver Part 1 Hot Tracks. 
because that one makes up like a full page um, if I get salons and MT. But for now, that one's gonna stay in here. And then, like I said in the like kind of full explainy part, this is the Japan and photo set and merch binder. I don't have a lot, which is why there's so much like crammed in here and then this is just like pobs and like fan signs um so yeah we'll see i think i like it now that i'm looking at it i think i like it <laughs> so anyways thank you for watching <laughs> um you'll see these binders as i get more sleeves and as more like special items come out so yeah have a good day or night or whatever time it is um thank you for watching and i will see you next time